Hey guys, so this is going to be a video on 8GB of RAM versus 16GB of RAM. Now I'm going to be demonstrating this using my Dell Inspiron 7559, which I purchased last year. So it has the Core i7 CPU with a video card, the GeForce GTX 960M. So I'm going to be demonstrating this in Premiere Pro. So first of all, I'm going to be exporting a video file, a 45 second video file approximately, and um, I'm going to be exporting that to 1080p. So it is a 4K video, but I am downscaling it to 1080p with maximum bitrate settings. So first I'm gonna be doing this with eight gigabytes of RAM, and then I'm going to be doing it with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I've got my stopwatch all set, and now I'm just going to click export and the stopwatch at the same time, and you guys can see how long that's gonna take with eight gigabytes of RAM. So that came in at 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So now let me go ahead and add another 8 gigabytes of RAM into this laptop, making a total of 16 gigabytes. I'm going to open up Premiere and export the same clip with the same settings. And we're going to see how long that's going to take. So first of all, let me open up my laptop, add this 8 gigabyte stick of RAM in there, and you guys can enjoy watching me do it. All right, so now that that's done, let me go ahead and open up Premiere Pro, and I'm going to export this same file with the same settings, but this time we're going to be doing it with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and we're going to see if there's a difference. So that came in at 6 minutes and 40 seconds, so that's a little bit less than a minute faster with the 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now that's only with a short clip, imagine if you were to export a longer clip you would be saving quite a bit more time. Now I'm going to head on over to DaVinci Resolve, which I had issues using with only 8 gigabytes of RAM. So with 16 gigabytes of RAM, I'm going to show you guys that this handles that perfectly. Well, I wouldn't say perfectly because DaVinci Resolve is a power hungry program, but at the same time, it is very free and it's very powerful as well. So as you can see now with 16 gigabytes of RAM, DaVinci Resolve is having no trouble playing back my clips with my laptop. Before, I couldn't do this with 8 gigabytes of RAM, it would completely stutter. So that is pretty much the difference, guys, with 8 gigabytes of RAM versus 16 gigabytes of RAM. So obviously, RAM is a huge factor when you're doing a lot of video editing. It is not the main factor, though. I would say the two main factors of smooth video editing is having a good video card and having a fast CPU, especially with Premiere. But at the same time, if you have a good video card and a fast CPU, but less than 8 gigabytes of RAM, you'll be pretty much bottlenecked because video editing software does use a lot of RAM from my understanding. So if you are doing a lot of video editing, you do wanna make sure that you have at least eight gigabytes of RAM. And if you're using DaVinci Resolve, you wanna make sure that you have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. And honestly, if you ask me, I definitely recommend upgrading to 16 gigabytes of RAM if you're doing a lot of rendering or video editing. So the stick that I purchased is made by Crucial. It's eight gigabytes, it's a single stick, DDR3, 1600 MT forward slash S. I'll have it in the description if you guys were interested in purchasing that same one. So that's going to be it, guys. Hopefully you did find this video informative. If you did, please do leave a like. For now, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side.